Oh my god, he's using a target finder. Ah! No, I'm playing. What's going on, everybody? It's Tomb, and I'm bringing you guys some uh, LMG gameplay. I'm using the hammer with the stock, silencer, and target finder. Uh, lightning strike, sentry gun, and war machine. Probably one of my greatest setups that I've ever run in this game. And uh, I'm not talking about gameplay. I don't even think I'll show the final score. You know what? I won't. Fuck it, because it doesn't matter. I'll be talking about movies in this video. So, um,. If you guys don't already know, I run a blog with my friend Base the Rock. If you don't follow both of us on Twitter, those will be in the description. And we both run a blog, and the blog consists of anything that we want. Actually, it could, it's gaming related, food related, sneaker related. Um, it's less less kicks actually lately, and it's been more so movies, video games, and stuff like that. And I finally decided to become more and more active on that. So I've been posting a bunch of movie stuff. The day that you guys are seeing this, I posted two things. One. One is about Fast Five, not Fast Five, Jesus Christ. One is about Fast Six and Fast Seven, and the other one is about Elysium. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about the, you know, Fast Six in general and uh, Fast Seven. So if you guys don't know, the Fast and the Furious franchise is going to be having the sixth installment. The last installment, I believe that was last year or two years ago, and uh, this installment is dropping this year. And if you guys don't know that this movie... If you guys don't already know, I don't know why I said that twice. That kid got turned on so bad, but this movie is pivotal, at least in my opinion, in the entire franchise because it's going to start to wrap up the entire series in a whole. If you guys don't know or if you guys don't remember, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift never really made sense in the eyes of the consumers or the people in the franchise because they felt as though the movie was out of place. But I always knew and I always thought that there would be a reason for Tokyo Drift's you know, existence in the entire franchise. And the link that I posted on the blog and the link that I'll be posting down below will explain why Tokyo Drift is what it is. What, what it is to the Fast and Furious franchise. It really is a bridge. So I'm not going to completely tell you guys what the spoiler is, but... The events that happened in Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift when Han was killed will completely explain what happens after this movie comes out. And it will completely explain, you know, why things are the way they are. And it will lead into the beginning of Fast and the Furious 7. <clears throat> Ugh. I'm over here choking. Also, Elysium is a movie, it's like a post-apocalyptic, oh my god. Did you see that feed? Please tell me I don't do it again. Please, no. Oh my goodness, Jesus. That was that was actually pretty sick. But um but anyway, Elysium is directed by the same person who directed District 9. It looks like a same type of movie set in the same type of era in a sense, uh just a different part of the world. The same type of tech, uh the mech the mechs look the same, the robots look the same. Uh it's the same type of cinematography, the same type of special effects. And look at my kill streaks going ham. That was what was that? Though? Was that like a four piece? That was like a four piece with a sentry gun, but um, but anyway, you know, Elysium looks to be an excellent movie. I I don't know too much about it. I, it's it's like one of the post apocalyptic, um, Earth after Earth type movies. And of all the movies that have come out this quote unquote summer or that will be coming out this summer, Oblivion came out about last week, I think. And that was with Tom Cruise, and then you have Will Smith and Jade Smith in After Earth. Of all of these movies, Elysium looks the best. Matt Damon is going to be starring in the movie. Jodie Foster is also going to be starring in the movie, and it looks to be excellent. And I, I Matt Damon usually doesn't disappoint because he's that good of an actor, and his his roles have changed. If you guys haven't seen a Matt Damon movie where he played a little bit more of a serious character, look up the talented Mr. Ripley, and then also look up the Oceans movies, and then you can check out the Jason Bournes as well. And those look to be very, very good, and you can see his growth as an actor, and as he's gotten older, you get to see his progression as an, as an actor. And both of those movies look to be good, and if you guys are interested in seeing any of the information about those, those look those look amazing. Look at this feed right here, and that's the end of the gameplay. Also, um, one of the movies that's going to be coming out that the trailer looks absolutely sick for that's up on the blog is The Man of Steel. Go check out the blog, go follow me and based on Twitter, and I hope you guys enjoyed this quick commentary, and let me know what movies you guys are looking forward to this summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Pacific Tomb. I'm out. Peace.